Luke as your captain, uh, just describe his leadership style. Is he similar to George, or is he just, just, just what's, what's he all about? Uh, he's a little bit different cut to George. George is a little bit more grumpier, uh, but they're really they're white locks. So they're really black and white, though. They, they tell it how it is, and they, they'll put their hand up. They, they're just good, honest farming uh, young men, and, and, and come from a uh, from a background that um, is instilled with work ethic. So. Uh, he does fit a lot of the mould that, that George gave us. Yeah, any good captain's going to lead from the front, so it's about um, doing what I do, I guess, and not so much as I say. But uh, yeah, obviously, uh, there's a lot of other great leaders out here, and it's um, it's just the title, really. And we've got an, uh, a good, strong bunch of other guys that have a lot of leadership there. Yeah. You've got a brother who did a hell of a lot of captaincy of this side. Did you learn much from him in terms of the role? Yeah, George was obviously fortunate enough. I think he had about five, six years. Uh, yeah, and just just getting guys on the same page length is a big thing, and uh, you know, making sure uh, the calls come through and making sure everyone's on task is, is obviously a big one. Um, I've still been playing. I've been playing Japan the last few years, and just um, had an email from Razor, and they were looking for another option at 10, 10 and 12. So I sort of got one that I was sort of done my time in Japan, and I was coming home. So. Um, it was just a good option and sort of fitted you know, around our lifestyle with, with coming home and we've got a few young children now so we've got them in school and yeah, it was just a good fit and good timing. Did you plan to play when you came home or were you thinking about hanging up the boots? Or was it... um, I guess I've always said I'd never be retired till I was officially retired so you know, as, as long as I'd keep fit and you know, we still felt like I was able to get out there, I'll, I'll still keep playing. So um, I've had a couple of injuries the last few years, but you know, running around with these boys and the young guys, it's you know made me feel a bit younger and doesn't feel like that long ago I was actually out here. From from home up in Taipei, it was um, you know watching growing up watching Canterbury sort of dominate and um, provincial um, rugby. It's yeah, it makes it pretty special to be a part of this. Campaign. What are some of the things you've been you know, working on needing to get up to this level? Um, pass consistency is a big one for me, obviously, key role um, distributing the ball, so putting that in the same spot every time, um, just directing the forwards around the paddock and um, keeping in the area, keeping good energy and um, yeah, just good percentage play. So just hugely excited about our team cup starting. Uh, it's also awesome playing uh, in the afternoon and good weather and uh, yeah, it's just a great competition to be a part of.